Hi everybody, back again with another haul. I went to Joann's and I went to Michael's. Um, <clears throat> I only picked up a few things at Joann's because I wanted to use, really, I really wanted just like one thing there and wanted to use the 60% off coupon, but anytime they have these out, anything that I want to pick up, it's on sale and I can't use the coupon. And I know <clears throat> you could probably pick up you know, a yard or two of fabric and use a 60% off coupon, but honestly, I have so much fabric. Uh, like, my fabric stash is ridiculous. So I couldn't even use this. The, like, the crafting the stamps and the ink section and the stationery section, they were all 30% off. And I couldn't, there wasn't even a 20% off coupon that I could use on top of the 30% off, so... <clears throat> Um, yeah, I didn't really save any money there. I ended up spending $26.42 more than I really wanted to. But, and not, you know, I probably could have waited. Really, I could have waited, but I've waited too long and I just need some new inks, <clears throat> new colored inks to use my planner. And yeah, I couldn't wait any longer. Um, this was in... An unintentional purchase actually I thought this was gonna be at regular price I could use this coupon but that's a bunch of lies so <clears throat> I picked this up it's a jelly roll stardust clear you know for some accenting you know some either some artwork or you know your planners but yeah I picked these up I definitely like um, the chalk versions of, uh, I like Versa Magic. I like to use chalk ink on, in my planners, but you also need some mementos. So I picked those up. And then I went to Michael's. I only picked up a few things at Michael's. Um, Okay, so if you guys watched my last Michaels video, I talked about that 25% off your total purchase, including your um, sale items, right? So this, at the end cap, there is this polarific um, stationery, stationery, yeah, crafting supplies, washi, paper, stamps, <clears throat> and they were half off and I picked this up this was the last tube of this design of this design and I didn't pick up the rest I mean <clears throat> there were really some other cute designs in the polarific uh, section and if you look closely I don't know sorry if you look closely uh, there's two designs of the cherry and I was like why would they have that I bought it anyways again this was the last tube they had plenty of the other designs figured I would just get them later but eh, I would use it and I have used this already and I looked closer and it's a scratch and sniff and um, actually let me show you what they look like first I don't know if, hold on a second so this is what they look like and yeah so after <clears throat> sorry so I made this sample or I put it in my little washi book a few days ago and when I opened up this tube I didn't realize it said scratch and sniff when I bought it it's giving me back like so many memories of your scratch and sniff stickers, but let me do and let a little sample here. I kind of really wish there was smell vision Do you guys remember remember bubble yum? This this bubble yum gum. It smells or this pineapple design. Sorry, my lighting smells like bubble yum gum. This lemon one. It smells like Dawn dish soap that's like lemon scented. 
I mean, it's not bad. It's just, here's a banana one. It smells like Runt's banana, uh, the hard candy Runt's. All, I mean, it's all artificial flavor, obviously. Trying out this orange one. It doesn't, this one seems like scent. And it doesn't really smell like anything. Here's the cherry one. It's just like artificial cherry. It smells like can put my finger on it it doesn't I don't know cherry artificial cherries never really smell like real cherries you know by the way I have a sister named cherry I don't know can't really describe the scent here's the second one maybe this one's better it's a familiar artificial um, smell but you would never describe it as cherries. I don't know. Anyways, here's an ice cream one. This is gross. It smells like, it smells like, like terrible potpourri in a bathroom. This ice cream one. I mean, there's so many flavors of ice cream. How would... Uh, uh. Anyways. Okay, and then here's the last strawberry one. This is... Yeah, definitely artificial strawberry. You could tell this is strawberry, but not very good strawberry. Because, you know, fresh strawberries, are actually, they smell amazing. Yeah, anyways. Novelty ideas. Really, I mean... I could have done without the scratch and sniff, but it's fun, I guess. I paid... Here's my receipt. Maybe you guys can uh, zoom in in the receipt. So then, how much to pay? Themed washi cactus. Nope, nope, nope. Polarific. I paid $5.62 for the polarific. Washi tube. Like I said, I have already used it. It's pretty useful. And then <clears throat> I picked up this cactus. Not a scratch and sniff. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's really cute. Especially if you have a bunch of cactus stamps. I think cactus is still in. You know how last year cactus was... Or still is maybe. They had a bunch of like cactus... Um, I don't know if you go to Hobby Lobby, they have like a whole cactus island of um, Segura cactus plants. And anyways, I'm kind of rambling about that. Uh, let me see. I know I have a sample here. Sorry, guys. Um, oh. And here it is. It was also half off. <clears throat> And of course, I used my 25% off coupon, so I only paid $1.87 for it. It's really cute. That's it with the washi. And then the backyard table section, which is, they had, well, it's this theme, kind of this flowered theme. <clears throat> um, they had washi, I think they had paper. Washi paper and I don't know, like some other stuff that has this backyard theme. And the only things I really picked up were these two. Um, yeah, picked up these stamps. I think they're going to be a great addition to my planning. So I picked these two up. And then back again with the Coastal Village. Remember? When I uh, sampled this so I sampled this and I didn't realize that they had these solids also ah I should have put the but yeah so the 12 by 12 
12 by 12 of this coastal village paper was still not on sale it was still 19.99 i don't know why but i picked this one up again it was two dollars but there's four colors do a quick four colors of or, or there's four colors and six of each color sorry i can't like multitask okay and then I know I just said I went to Joann's and Michael's, but there's a mall nearby, and I went to their Hallmark, and I don't know if you guys would be interested in this, but I picked up the Keepsake Dream Book. Yeah, I know. Christmas is like, we haven't even hit summer and finished spring yet, but I did pick up the Keepsake Dream Book for ornaments. If you guys are really into ornaments and really love Christmas or the holidays or whatever but yeah so when I got there when I got to my homework I had asked about the book if they had released the book yet and literally they just got a box in of the books so you can go to your homework and pick this up I'm not being paid or sponsored by homework by any, by any means but yeah if you're into keepsake ornaments uh your dream book is out now anyways that's it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.